just walked down the trailer again and checked on it. Should have the phone up in the back of it. You can do that. I did that. I've done this plenty of times and uh, see what's going on. And it's completely empty. So how long has it been empty? It's 8.45 at night right now. I got here at 8.30 this morning. Target. And I just walked in the office and said, hey man, what's going on? Uh, been here 12 hours. Uh, please let me know an update or I saw you guys move the trailer after you told me it was 70% full still. You already got 30% off half an hour after you told me that. I see the trailer get pulled out and it's completely full, not touched. So now it's completely empty and I was just in the office talking to the guy. What's going on, Target? What is going on, Target? I still got four of the guys over there hanging out. So we're going to go back in there and see what he says. So we know the trailer's empty. Let's go see what he says. I apologize for the wait. No I worries. Took the last child off there. I stood there, stood there and made sure they got it off. In and out times right there. They're going to drop it at G16. All right. Thanks, man. Just give, them, give, give them a minute. They're going to pull it out the door right now. And they're going to drop it at G16. All right, cool. Apologize for the wait. No worries, man. Here we go. Hey, what's going on, Target? Hey, what's going on, so if I didn't just walk right back in there after walking down and checking my trailer, put your phone on um, flash and put your phone into the back of the trailer, like up in there, right about at that corner. It's a flexible kind of black, it's dirty. My hand got all black from doing it, but if I wouldn't have gone down there and seen that the trailer was actually empty, he was still sitting at the desk and I just had walked in there before and said, hey man, um, 12 hours, like what are we doing here? And uh, he's like, oh, I don't know. D didn't even check on it, didn't act nothing. So then I walked back in there after walking down and checking on the trailer, saw that it was empty. So now I know it's empty. And I asked him again, then he went back out there and checked it. <sighs> the efficiency of this industry. Can't tell you enough. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of drivers will just sit in their trucks and wait for them to call. When are they gonna call me? Tomorrow morning? So they're hooking up to the trailer right now. Boop. And they're gonna drop it at G16, so. You'll get layover, but it's only four or not layover, 40 hours or $40 an hour for detention, but it tops out of four hours. So 160 bucks, like that's not worth a full day of just sitting here in Target. I mean, it's pretty out here. I had a great time. It was amazing. I watched a full episode of Rogan, a couple of episodes of Ice Grip Garage and Sheepy Race and 1320. I got my, my fill of uh, YouTube today, but I'd much rather be home with my kids or putting more money on my trailer. So rant over, Not I hate to have the negative comments, but I wish, I want the people out there to know what goes on in this industry and maybe get this back to Target. And let them know like, hey, these guys right here, uh, they don't have drop and hook. They're, they're sitting here for 12 hours waiting. So God bless everybody. Sorry to start off this video today this way, but uh, that's what my night was like last night, 12 hours. That was my night last night, 12 hours. But uh, take the initiative, get it done. Go in there, check your trailer, all that kind of stuff. Um, this video is going to have L83, L86 camera removal. A little different because the oil pan restricts you from getting the timing chain off. So you kind of have to edge it off with a screwdriver and then edge it back on and make sure you, you uh, indicate your, your placement on that, your, your die. So um, also got a load today. I had Coyote call me on something I bid on yesterday. And they, it's another Home Depot distribution center, but it's another live load. It's going to Lakeland, so we'll see about it. But um, that was, it was five, over $5 a mile, and it picks up tomorrow at 2, 8, 2 p.m. or 1 p.m. Delivers, I think, 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Uh, on Monday. So I still got a weekend to run. God took care of me, looking out for me. But uh, tonight we're going to Lake. We'll do the giveaway at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I look forward to that. And uh, we went to Chuck E. Cheese today. Had to get, get the kids out a little bit and get them some video game action. So check that out. And at the very end, Truck and Wife come to you with the GoPro Hero 8 and tell you how to get signed up if you're new to the channel. If you're not, hopefully we're still doing giveaways and it's been a couple of years now. So <laughs> either way, enjoy the video. We'll see you at 9 p.m. Yeah. They do. And a bunch of rides. A bunch of games and a bunch of rides. Yeah, but we have not as many rides. Hmm. Hi, dude. Do you want to do you wanna go to Chuck E. Cheese? That's Chuck E. Chuck E. And you, and you have to drive your car there, and you can also park him. Park your car there? Yeah. Oh, well, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. Let these coins. Today is the last day of the giveaway. Welcome. Lakeside. Come on. Why did you poke me? Why did I Let's go get breakfast. Where do you want to get breakfast at? Want to go get some breakfast? Yeah. Where do you want to go? 
Where do you want to go? Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. Let's eat some Chick-fil-A. I gave you a Chick-fil-A. Are you coming with us? Thank you for that. Oh, hey, Dada. Dada. Yeah, Bubba. Dada. So we're getting more done on the Cadillac today. Luckily, it's not raining. It rained all day yesterday out here, but uh, he's setting his differential to zero and then six degrees. Look at all that. That's heavy duty. Weld it up. And then he got a little Christmas present coming in. He's got an 01 Cherokee with a 4.0. There you go. Some beadlocks. True beadlocks. Um, with a T3, T4 turbo. Should be fun out there. But I hope we can get this thing going again for truck and wife so she can stop putting miles on the big truck. But whatever. It's going to be fun. And I broke this little guy right here. Hee hee! That's all me right there. My mechanic skills. Oil pressure. Uh, is that the oil pressure switch or sending unit? There you go. Cool, man. We're going to get some breakfast. Thanks, Brandy. If any of you guys watch VinWiki or Rob Pitts on YouTube, this is the Chevrolet dealership that uh, we love watching you, Rob. You're a local Greenville guy, too. This is the dealership that he had the proposition from his dad not to get married. So we're going to get the oil pressure sensor and check out a, it uh, looks like it's a ZL1. We'll see, though. It's green. It says you have to wash your hands. Come on, let's go. It does. Yeah, this is uh, the dealership Rob Pitts and his dad came to. Look at this green one, guys. Whoa. Yeah? Oh, is the playground the plan? I don't know if we can, though, because of the COVID. We'll see if we can. Want to open the door case? Yeah. See what we got. That's a, just a, maybe it's, oh, it is a, oh, it's a 2.0 turbo. I'm out of the game with these cars. Four-cylinder turbo and a Camaro. I didn't know we were going that small. Gentle. All right. Thanks, buddy. Like that one, too? All right, let's go find these parts, okay? All right, parts department. We are looking for a uh, oil pressure sensor. Look at that uh, white Corvette with the red top. Isn't that cool? Is that one right there? Yeah. It's a C7. Those are going to greatly depreciate soon when the when the C8 start getting uh, out there. No C8s here though. Still taking delivery. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah. Yeah, there are seats right there. Yeah. We're just waiting for the parts guy, but she said he's working double duty. I could not hold you right now. I, I'm cold. You're cold. But um, yeah, this is where Rob, Rob Pitts, look up Rob Pitts. R-O-B-B, -B, I think, P-I-T-T-Z. How you doing, man? Uh, oil pressure sending, oil pressure sensor? Yes, sir. Yeah, I got you. Can I see? Smiley face with sprinkles and eyes, sad face with sprinkles and eyes. And uh, if you don't know, we we're gonna hit Chuck E. Cheese right now, but this place right here, oh man, Simpsonville Ice Cream Station, hit it up. I get the, uh, what do I get here? I get the, what's it called? It's peanut butter and chocolate. I'm not getting anything today, I'm watching my girl's figure. Yeah, I get moose tracks. Yeah, buddy. So good. What's up, Bubba? I will have to know Okay. How about you can't get in there. It's dirty, buddy. It just rained yesterday. But yeah, come out to Simpsonville. Get some ice cream. You look both ways for trains? Mm -hmm. What kind of ice cream did you get? Uh, I got so many sprinkles in the back. What? <laughs> okay, so what kind of ice cream did you get? Chocolate. Chocolate. Did you already eat your eyeballs? Mm-hmm. Yummy. Yeah, my mouth. Oh. Yeah. Ice cream time. And then we go home, get Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. We got the wife's ring fix. She uh, busted out a, like a little tiny diamond. We're all going to Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, we are. Play some games. And then it's lake time. Hey, and yeah. GoPro giveaway, Saturday Night Live. Yeah. I'm doing. Would you go to Chuck E. Cheese? We're going to Chuck E. Cheese after this. Yeah, but actually, I have ice cream. You do have ice cream? Yeah, but it's, it's a little cold. That's, <laughs> That's what ice cream is, dude. It looks like a baby one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's get Chuck E. Cheese, huh? And we got all the parts for the uh, Escalade. We got the valve cover. 
oil pressure sensor and a new uh, bolt in the back. So get all that to Brandon, check out how his progress is going. Go check your cheese and hit the lake. Oh yeah. Hey, can, can I say something to you? Yeah. Actually, we're gonna go check your cheese. We're gonna go check your cheese. We're gonna go pick up baby Kyle now. I just need to say what kind of game they have. Oh, what kind of games? I wonder if they have a line. I wonder so. Well, I guess we'll check that out, right? Yeah. All right. If they have a line, I'll go on it. Well, that's what perfect. What Mama's engine? Broke a pipe inside. Oh, we pulled the heads off. There we go. We're replacing the lifters mm -hmm. and the oil pressure sensor. We broke off a prong, so we got the new one. So we also need to take off some things. We need to clean off some stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. And Kay Kayson, what kind of motor parts do you have here? Mm -hmm. Oh, a Caterpillar. Mm, that's right. not a motor part. That's not a motor part? Yeah. Okay. There we go. We're getting new. All the rods would be long now, right? Yeah. Instead of the half short ones. Good stuff. And for all you guys that wanted to see a Texas speed cam, there it is in a blue wrapper. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Parts keep showing up. Look at this. I like it. It's Christmas. Oh, man. Is out? Yep. You see what I'm saying? And then that one's in. And that one's not. And this one just popped out. It's got scarring right there. Yeah. So that was number seven. Just decided to let go. Nicely done. Get rid of that crap. Chevrolet doesn't even use it no more, right? <laughs> they don't. They do still? Yeah. Oh, I thought they got rid of it. No. Still using it. Good times. So we're coming into a great problem here, getting the chain off the, uh, what's that, the sprocket for the cam? Yeah. Because the oil pump, you can't get it out because the bottom bolt is below the oil pan. So we watched a great amount of videos on YouTube and realized that you just take it off by prying it off with a screwdriver and marking it right with indexes, so. Good times. If you're really gonna do this, just, just pull the old motor, is what Brandon says. Might be a little easier that way. Boom. Yep, all because of this amazing design for active fuel management. Thank you, General Motors. Gotta have an Escalade, don't we, truck and wife? Woo! So, yeah. L86 cam removal on Escalade. Not the easiest job. Make sure you're well versed before you try it. But the Texas Speed Cam is already in there. And our old cam, didn't, that's number seven back there. Didn't have too much, uh, no broken lobes or nothing. Still okay, but we got a different cam, a little more power. But man, we had to pull the radiator and everything to get clearance. So put the, the, the condenser back in already, but had to pull the whole thing out. But hey, we're on the way back, but cam retainer plate, we had to go get a new one and it's way out in Spartanburg, so it's a good 30 minute drive both ways. So he's going to get that and then we'll start reassembling everything. But you really want to make sure that's new in case something gets crushed in, the seal gets crushed. You don't want it to leak because it'll bypass the oil around it and uh, it could blow your motor. Brandon said he's had that personal experience. So there we go, we're on the way back, but man, what a deal. All for some lifters. Thanks, Cadillac. Thanks, General Motors. Hey, they're pretty trucks. So where are we going, babe? We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. We're all excited about it. We're so uh, excited to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Mm, the only one's awake now. Oh. The one who oh. took the up. Oh. I got one waking up. Oh, uh, nice sleep. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. The baby's awake. At least the baby's awake and cash woke up too. The cash woke up. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me know. Casey, if you see Chuck E. Cheese, is there anywhere? Do you guys see buddy? Chuck E. Cheese anywhere? I don't know. Do you see it? Chuck E. Cheese, where are you? Right next to it. Where, you see it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right next to us. Come on, Mom, you're our savior. Oh, here we go. There, that blue one. All right, all right. Get what you got. Oh, is she gonna get it? Yeah. Oh, mom Ooh. is the woman. Oh, I dropped it! Oh. Alright, let's play something else. <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. You are a crazy driver.
Okay. Do I go again? Whatever. Are you? Cutie pie.